battery chargers off. T minus one minute, 40 seconds. LD, verify SpaceX is green. SpaceX is green. Switching to range RF source. Telemetry verified. Internal auto sequence started. Closing in on T minus one minute, 20 seconds. RCO, verify range is green. This is the RCO, the range is green. We are in internal power. Pre-valve heater stopped, antenna heater stopped. Initiating vehicle auto sequence. Pass through T minus one minute. Vehicle is in auto sequence. UVC check complete. Fuel trim valve actuator is set. Turn off helium bubble. Minus 30 seconds. First stage tank pressing. Water to the flame duct. Water deluge is on. Stabilized. Second stage tank pressing. State pressure verified. Vehicles being pressurized to flat pressure. Second stage tank stabilized. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one. Ignition. T0, plus one, plus two, plus three. We have liftoff of the SpaceX Falcon 1 carrying Rosiksat satellite for ATSB. Falcon 1 has cleared the tower. Vehicles begun moving downrange. Vehicles currently traveling uh, point two, uh, 27 meters per second at 0.2 kilometers above the pad. Power system's nominal. First stage propulsion's nominal. Guns nominal. Approaching Mach 1. Approaching Mach 1. Vehicles in the transonic region about to go supersonic. T plus one minute. This is max Q, maximum dynamic pressure. This is the period of greatest Stage stress on the vehicle structure. Vehicle currently has a velocity of 500 meters per second at an altitude of 15 kilometers. That's max Q. See the plume plus getting one minute forty seconds. Darker. Velocity eight hundred and thirty meters per second at an altitude of thirty kilometers. And blacker as we get to higher rarefied atmosphere. First stage propulsion still performing nominally. Vehicle is currently traveling 1,300 meters per second at an altitude of 38 kilometers. Inertial guidance. Vehicles trimming out Alpha in preparation for Miko. There'll be a five-second delay between main engine cutoff and stage separation, then four more seconds before second stage ignition. There's Miko. First stage Miko. Stage separation and Kestrel ignition. Separation confirmed. Second stage ignition confirmed. Okay, the stages have separated. The second stage is ignited. The second stage is currently traveling 2,800 meters per second at an altitude of 108 kilometers. 
approaching fairing sap operation. Coming up to fairing sap. Camera move to forward view. Separation confirmed. We've had a uh, clean video is a bit choppy, but the halves looked equal. Second stage propulsion performance. Fairing came off beautifully. Guidance nominal. You'll see the stiffening bands fall off the Kestrel nozzle in a minute. The design to fall off three when minutes, it gets hot. There seconds. it goes. The vehicle is traveling 3,000 meters per second at an altitude of 150 kilometers. Good telemetry lock on both stages. The Kestrel engine fires for over six minutes on the way to orbit. The vast majority of the acceleration occurs minutes. in this phase. The vehicle is traveling 3,000 meters per second at an altitude of 172 kilometers. Power systems nominal. I should point out that second stage propulsion is I should nominal. point out that we may lose Guns video nominal. and telemetry just prior to second stage shutdown, depending on T plus the vagaries of upper atmosphere RF velocity propagation. and altitude are nominal at thirty two hundred meters per second at an altitude of one hundred and ninety six kilometers. But that's another four and a half minutes from now. Telemetry lock still good. Second stage propulsion performing nominally. Guidance nominal. We are still seeing nominal flight. T plus five minute thirty seconds. Current velocity thirty six hundred meters per second at an altitude of two hundred and thirty kilometers. At 230 kilometers altitude, Falcon 1 is currently well in beyond the official boundary of space at 100 kilometers. Currently three minutes into the second stage burn, passing through T plus six minutes. Velocity 3,800 meters per second at an altitude of 243 kilometers. Both are above nominal. Propulsion is performing nominally on the second stage. T plus six minutes, 30 seconds. Velocity, 4150 meters per second. Altitude, 255 kilometers. We are about two and a half minutes from SICO. Propulsion's performing nominally. T plus seven minutes. Current velocity, 4400 meters per second at an altitude of 260 kilometers. Our system still nominal. Guidance is nominal. At SECO we will be in a parking orbit 38 minutes later over Ascension Island in the South Pacific we will relight the second stage Keep engine to circularize the orbit. Velocity 4,800 meters per second, altitude 265 kilometers. And after that short second burn, we will be deploying the Razixat spacecraft into orbit. Second stage telemetry still nominal. Second stage propulsion nominal. Launch, launch pad safing is complete. 
passing through T plus 8 minutes, velocity 5,400 meters per second at an altitude of 267 kilometers. As I mentioned, we are expecting to lose RF signal, telemetry, and video sometime in the next minute and a half, and it may be before second stage engine shutdown. Somewhere here, we're expecting some dropouts. See, it goes about 9 minutes, Vehicle 15 seconds. Nominal. Propulsion performing nominally. T plus 9 minutes. Vehicle's traveling 6,400 meters per second at an altitude of 266 kilometers. Seeing some dropouts in the telemetry and video. Coming back in. T plus 9 minutes 30 seconds. Okay, we've currently gone over the uh, horizon. We are experiencing some losses in telemetry, but vehicle, vehicle has completed shutdown. That's Zika. That was easy. And with Seco, that places Falcon 1 second stage and the Razixat spacecraft in the parking orbit. Excellent. Well, after that, well, beautiful launch, power nominal. we are okay, so we looking at it. Loss of, C uh, loss of second stage signal um, because, as you heard, it has passed over the horizon of the launch site. Everything looks to be going well, and this will end our live webcast of the Razixat mission today. Please continue to monitor the progress of this mission on our website, SpaceX.com. We can also download photos and videos from today's launch in the coming days.